Yo, what's good guys? It's Kevin Pack here. Welcome to another new video today. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. Oh man, it is it is coming close to the end of the damn year. It was not too long ago that it was the beginning of 2020, which we thought was going to be a fantastic year. I don't I don't really know what happened there. But nonetheless, there is still hope for the end of the year turning out to be pretty damn good, regardless of the shitstorm that we've been in for the first half of the damn year. By this, I mean Q4. Ah yes, Q4. It's a jolly time of the year for Amazon sellers where presents are being given to children and moms get the best gifts of all and Amazon sellers make a lot of money. So it's a great time and a great opportunity for current Amazon sellers to really scale their business and really make the best of the rest of the year. So if you are a current seller, I wanna give you guys some tips on how you can prepare yourself for Q4, if not this one, then the next one. Now it's a little bit too late if you haven't done any of these things already. Uh, usually you wanna prepare yourself in the August time, um, but I know a lot of people are gonna to wanna to be searching about you know, how to prefer, prefer prepare, God, for Q4 now, even though they're kind of late in the game. So at least this can give you some pointers for next year and maybe something that will honestly be smoother than this year, because this year in 2020, it's kind of messy. So these tips are gonna be for assuming that things go pretty normal next year and assuming that things are kind of normal this year as well. So I'm gonna give you guys three major tips on how you can prepare for Q4 for the best outcome possible. Now, of course, I'm gonna give you guys my update on my sales so you guys know I'm a current Amazon seller and I ain't talking no BS. Let's get that full refresh, boom, right there. So I've done a little bit over $700 for the day so far. It's in the early afternoon, it's about two, three, oh, almost 3 p.m. I think. And then uh, done a little over $10,000 for the month of September so far. And then if we look at the last 30 days, I've done about $27,000. So this year for Q4, I hope to do pretty damn well and double my uh, earnings from last year and get 100% growth last year. I did about $100,000 in December, I think $40,000 November, and then like $18,000 in October. So in total, uh, if I do the math, it's like $158,000 in total for Q4. So I hope I can double it and do $300,000 for this Q4 in total for August, November, and December in total. So I'm gonna give you guys some tips that I used last year to prepare myself and also this year that I did to prepare myself. So number one, this should be very clear and obvious is making sure that you send in enough inventory into Amazon for Q4. Now I know for 2020, there are some limitations and some weird stuff going on and how Amazon's only allowing 200 for new ASINs and then there's a limited quantity for um, current available ASINs that only give you maybe like 90 days, which is a problem because 90 days worth of inventory is great, but actually products can 10 times what they normally do throughout the year. So they might not actually need, you know, three times uh, or th three months worth of inventory. They might need like, six or seven to be honest and that's like my inventory is like that my my sales like 5x 6x 7x during q4 so the work way around that if amazon continues to have any limitations in the future for q4 is that you either ship the inventory to your own place and then trickle in inventory into amazon or you get a 3pl warehouse like i did and have them trickle in the inventory for you and store but in normal circumstances you want to make sure that you have all of your inventory and your manufacturing starting in August, and then they should ship out and get to Amazon before November, ideally. So if that was like kind of normal year where Amazon doesn't have any limitations, that's ideally what you would want to do. Get everything in before November, uh, start production in August. That way you can avoid any delays in processing by Amazon since things get busier as the year gets closer into Q4. And you'll have plenty of inventory to be ready for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and then the December demand. I really wish it was like last year where we could just send as many inventory as we want and then we could just sit back and just let the sales just keep running through. But this year we're gonna have to actually be a little bit more hands-on. I have to be a little bit more hands-on by making sure I keep an eye on inventory and start trickling in by week by week, basically. So if it is your first Q4, the best way to go about this is to look at the sales in the past of your competitors and see what kind of numbers they, they had. Uh, I know Helium 10 Chrome Extension does offer sales history of products um, if they go back as you know the entire search history. So if you have a product that's been around for over a year, 
you can see how they're doing during the year and then what happens to the sales um, when it hits Q4 and how much that you know multiplies. You know, is it double, triple, 5x? That can give you a rough estimate. The next tip on this list is optimizing your listing. Now, by doing this, you wanna make sure that you basically fluff up your listing as much as possible and have the best videos, best pictures and everything and probably gear it more towards Christmas theme kind of stuff. So, you know, add a bow in your pictures, put a Christmas tree or something like that. Talk about Christmas and gifts and stuff like that in your descriptions and your features and bullet points and things like that, but optimize it a little bit more. Make sure your, all your keywords are in there and make it really geared towards the holiday season. And then you can change it and revert it back to a normal season once January hits. But we want to be able to do this and convert as many people as we possibly can because you know your conversion rates are naturally going to be higher during this time but we want to maximize on that as much as possible and you know even if it's just one percent more one percent <laughs> goes off a long way basically the last thing you need to do before q4 starts in october is making sure that you rank for as many keywords as possible and for whatever your main keywords are so the ones that have the most search volume and also just in general, as many keywords as possible. You wanna be ranked. What I mean by that is, you know, making sure that you are visible to the keyword and ranked maybe like top 15, top 10, something like that. As many keywords as you can to get to the top 10. So uh, maybe look at what your current keyword ranking is and, you know, anything that's between like 11 and 20, you wanna push more advertising towards those keywords so you can be more in the, you know, instead of 11 to 20, you're in the one to 10 range, right? So start pushing more your, of your PPC a little bit before Q4 hits. You can start dialing it down a little bit once um, October hits and November hits, uh, just because now at this point, you know, you're gonna gain a lot more traction. Now, if you wanna really push yourselves, you can keep your advertising spend high and then you could just maximize as much as you can with the sales. But the whole point is, is it's a lot harder to rank during Q4 um, well, it can be harder and can be easy depending on how good your product is. But if you're already established product, it's best if you just do it before and not try to do it while Q4 is happening because it gets really expensive. People are going to be bidding a lot of money on keywords and they're going to be fighting for the top of the, the search pages. So it, it's going to be a bidding war zone, needless to say. So make sure if you're already selling, start now. Start getting your keyword ranking on top of it right now. Spend a little bit more and then dial back once you start to see sales increase without your PPC needing to take all those sales. So those are the top three main tips I have for you guys for getting prepared for Q4. Those are the main things that helped me a lot last year and that's the same game plan that I'm gonna have for this year. So I hope this helped and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, like this video because I spend time making these videos and editing for you guys free 99. So subscribe for more content and as always, go make that money and take care of yourselves. Peace.